hello guys my name is frankness and i'm back today with another video so in our previous video we discussed how to import data from an ask file into your sepa coding file now today i want to talk about how to generate what is called uh, a general observation file which is more like uh, a digital field book so make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, leave comments uh, and let me know what you guys think of this video so please stay tuned as I get into detail. Now you go to topographical, then you select general observation file. So let me open a new general observation file. So click open here. So type the name of uh, the code and file. So I'm gonna name this QD. So click open. So you see now on my screen, I do have uh, a blank call general observation file. So let's explain a few things before we get into detail. So we need to explain what are called observation codes. So on my screen right here, uh, these triangles means uh these are non points so when you're doing a survey you need to start at a non point or if you don't you have to calculate uh the coordinates for that point so you need to orient uh from one point to another so in our general observation file when we are orienting to non points we are going to use uh code 404 and when we are establishing what is called a control point uh, we'll be using uh, code 06 so it might be from this point to here this might be a control point so if we are moving from this point to this point we we'll use code 06 but if this point is a polar we are we will be using uh, code 05 so to select our uh, observation code, go here where it says OBS code. Then if you click here, it displays uh, the number of codes. If you are not sure, you go down here, there, you see those uh, double question marks, you click it, uh, it gives you an explanation of what each code means. So code 01, you are setting up uh, at a point with unknown coordinates. So Code 2, you are setting on a non point. Then, code 3, you be observing to fix uh, uh, a certain position. Uh, code 4, you use it to orient. Then, uh, code 5, that's for polar. And code uh, number 6, that's for control points. So, let's create uh, a general observation file using uh, six uh, of these. Uh, so let me start in an at a non point uh, called uh, town survey mark 222 so you go to obs code then you select uh, code number two then you input the name of the point let's say tsm222 so this is a setup station i don't need this code here let me remove this code so this is a setup station probably you need a uh, instrument height here let's say 1.5 then you click so now i have my uh, uh, setup station let me do the orientation so for orientation called uh, 04 so 04 here then the point name is b and the horizontal angle we have 300 so then the slope distance 158 uh, 150.1850 then the vertical angle is 90 uh, 24.58 then now this is no longer instrument height it's now target height so I do have 1.2 Oh. so that's orientation so let's go ahead and add another point so click add data 
I'm going to orient again. Uh, this is what we usually do when we are doing a, a, a traverse. So the point is uh, TSM259. Then I do have the horizontal angle is 97, uh, 26, uh, 54. And uh, the slope distance, oh sorry, let me, the slope distance, the slope distance there is 135.8370, then the vertical angle is 90, 21, 41, then the instrument, uh, the target height remains the same. So, so that's it for orientation. Now let's add a polar. It's like we want to calculate uh, the coordinates of a point from another point. So for polars, we use uh, code 05. So let me select 05 here. Then the point name, it's a uh, electric pole one. So you input again the horizontal angle for that point 346.50 sorry 50 then 45 then the slope distance is a uh, 45.1430 then the vertical angle 89 uh, 49 27 so click so as you can see two orientation points then I do have a polar now let's add uh, a control point so click add data now control point you use uh, code 06 I have a control point called uh, station 1 so Horizontal angle 275, uh, 38 minutes, then 5 seconds. Then the slope there is 226.0926. Then the vertical angle is 90, 50, 22. So click again, then the point is now added. So now we have our setup station, then two orientation points, then uh, we do have a control point. Uh, so we want to move from this point to this point. So this is now a control network. So let me show you how to have that link up there. So now I want to move from station one to station two. Station one doesn't have our coordinates yet. So we have to set it to code one because there are no existing uh, coordinates in our coordinate file. So click add data. You come here, uh, put code one, then this is STN one. Then uh, the instrument height there is 1.58 so now let's uh, back uh, orient to TSM222 so code 04 for back orientation then the we have uh, TSM222 then uh, the horizontal angle we have uh, 95 uh, 38 uh, 0, 0. then the slope distance um, we have uh, 226.0921 then the vertical angle i do have 89 uh, 0, 09 31 then the target height was 1.2 so 
now let's add uh, the next control point so your data now the control point uh, station 2 so the code is uh, 6 so STN2 then the horizontal angle I do have uh, 314 uh, 24 14 then uh, the slope distance I do have 84 meters uh, 0 0.2790 then the vertical angle I do have 910619 uh, then the target height is the same so if you repeat what I just did you might end up with uh, a general observation file uh, big enough as, uh, as you can so basically that's how you create uh, a general observation file so thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment and i uh, will discuss more on our next video on how to do uh, survey computations